Alright, we're up early this morning. We just left Cape Le Grand, or the beach just before Cape Le Grand National Park. Um, we camped there last night, it was super windy, so we um, managed to find a sand dune we could bunker down at the base of. It was a bit protected from the wind, wasn't too bad, but um, yeah, managed to get through the night unscathed. Uh, today I'm heading into Esperance, there's a fabricator I spoke to yesterday when I was going over my tray and just over the car doing some maintenance work the other day, I noticed that uh, two of the welds on, on one of the mounts uh, for my tray have cracked. Uh, took it into a fabricator yesterday, he's managed to squeeze me in at 8 o'clock this morning, so gonna get that fixed. Quickly gonna stop off at the shops, grab a coffee, and then we're gonna hit the road and head west from Esperance. So, come along, I'll show you what we can find. Yo! down here at RWMA Fabrications and get a load of this thing. <laughs> this is a project they're working on for a customer. It's gonna put a five litre, or maybe you said six litre, in it and do a lap of Australia. How cool is that? <laughs> it's on a GQ, GQ? Yeah. GQ chassis. Mint. It's getting dual cap as well. It's getting what? Getting a dual cab chop, it's getting oh, a is tray it? put on it and all that, but it's too rusty. <laughs> That's so cool. I kind of like that with the tub with the yeah. stock body on it, but it's too fucking rusty to use. Yeah. Like, look at the roof. It's yeah. Fucking, I'm not using that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is Henry. He's a legend that's helping me here. Gonna do a bit of sandblasting, clean it up, <laughs> then we're gonna weld these bastards. Make an easy work of it. Yeah. <laughs> Get a load of that. Like new. We're off.
At this point, we were planning on leaving Esperance, but first, race cars. Here we go. Where's the race cars? Yeah, they are! I was chatting to one of the locals and they suggested to come down the end of 13 Mile Beach and then going over, sorry, go through the dunes and then there's a really nice protected private beach up there that not many people go to. So just come to the end of 13 Mile Beach. Wind's blowing this way. The cove should be over these dunes here. So we're gonna go up and over here. Let's go. a fail that hill's just too soft and um yeah i don't really want to end up doing a cv something's creaking in the front so i'll see if i can find another way around getting to this beach is proving quite tricky <laughs> um there's a few sand dunes it's just super soft like really fine sand so we will make it i'm still going to push forward just don't want to break anything i'm pretty remote out here so there is the track that goes down through sort of the dunes here, so we'll just keep pushing forward and see what we find. Another funky angle <laughs> in the Navarra. Gotta love sand. Harley's pretty much sitting on the window. <laughs> yeah, let's see if we can get out of here without rolling, eh? Almost made it. <laughs> She's uh, very, very 
very soft. Not a bad backdrop though. So I made it to above that beach that I was aiming for. Um, to get down there, there's a super steep hill. Um, I'm by myself, I don't really want to break anything or worse, roll down it, because it is freaking steep. So I've just decided to maybe camp up here tonight, got a little fire going. But check out this private beach, it is pretty stunning. This is the hill that you have to drive down to. Very nice. How cool is this? You see a few of these things coming around the dunes? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That'd be awesome fun up here. <laughs> yeah, so it's, um, what is it? Two, I think it's about 200 horsepower. Yeah. Uh, and it's seven, I think 650, 700 kilos. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, so it's just, get it's something just, boogies. It's mental. <laughs> yeah, it's just mental. Very cool. I want one. I'll trade my car for one. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> Alright, just arrived at tonight's camp, Munglinga, I think is the name, how you pronounce this one. But um, yeah, there's just a couple of sites, like five or six sites here. It's $15 a night, toilet facilities over here. Apparently there's a beautiful beach over the back, which I'm just about to go check out. Go snorkeling. Apparently this place has five out of five star reviews for the snorkeling. So, I've got the snorkel here. Ali's gonna come down with me. I'm gonna go check out the beach. Again, we are moving forward. We're heading out further west. Um, we spent the last two days 
um, at that beach and um, yeah yesterday was a bit of a ride off that it was super windy um, I pretty much spent the majority of the day just editing in my tent um, didn't really do too much so um, weather's a bit nicer today but I uh, want to keep moving around to the west um, I think we're going to point our nose towards Starvation Bay I'm not sure if I'm going to end up staying there or not but we'll um, have a bit of a look check it out and uh, then make a bit of a game plan from there but come along we'll show what we find So I just come for a bit of a drive, just checking out uh, this point down here. Came down this little sandy hill, which didn't look too bad. It's not too steep, but it's just super soft. So even with both lockers, I couldn't get up. So I've just uh, aired down. There's another family down here trying to do the same thing. Just aired down and uh, see if we can get up. <laughs> super soft though. Surprising how much air and down actually helps you get up. I was literally not getting past that first wombat hole the first time I was trying, so it's just bogging down. Let a little bit of air out and just the surface area that touches the sand is just so much brighter, oh, sorry, wider, and you just don't sink down. So yeah, we're up now, just help these guys up. Up next, let's see how they go. Got the cruiser with the boat on the roof. Nice and lightweight. <laughs> They also tried without airing down, but just let some more air out and bet you they walk up this. Oh, keep it going. Perfect. Nailed it. Just went to Starvation Bay, uh, a lot of people there, um, beach was pretty busy, all the campsites looked as though they were quite jam packed and just wasn't really vibing, it didn't even really film that much there, just that little beach that I drove down and nearly got stuck so um, yeah decided to move forward, uh, Lauren and Ryan they've sort of pushed ahead from where I am, they're the couple in the range with the boat, they suggested checking out a place called Coin Head. Um, which is like a private little bay. It's only um, accessible by four-wheel drive, so I'm gonna go have a look at that one and possibly stay there tonight. About an hour and a bit uh, west, um, I believe we have to go through uh, Hopeton to get there, so um, that's another beautiful little town on the, on the coast, so we'll check it out when we get there. We're driving through the National Park. We found a little summit walk. So we're gonna venture up and check out the view. It's a 2.6 kilometer round trip. Obviously summit means up the top of a hill, but it's right at the start of the National Park and gives you views pretty much in all directions. So it's a pretty awesome landscape out here. So we'll keep pushing forward and uh, have a bit of a look up here. Check out the view.
Mr. Buddy, stay. vantage point across the National Park. Made it to the top. How cool is this view? Also quite a bit of a big drop off right next to me. <laughs> Long way down. Not sure if you can see on camera, but over there between the main road, there's a dirt road that goes this way. Looks like a bushfire's rolled through. All the, all the earth is all scarred, it's all black. Doesn't look like it was very long ago either because there's no green vegetation after bushfires roll through. It's normally not too long before you start getting regrowth through, but um, it's a lot of land that's, uh, that's gone up in, in flames. This is the view out the other side of the canyon. Massive salt lake, beautiful beaches all the way along around there. Got a couple of windmills over the back there for the wind farm. Epic. descending winds picking up a bit also changed um, directions a bit as well but you always get a different aspect as you're walking down a hill to when you're walking up you can see the car park down there that's where my car is beautiful beaches and we're heading over those mountains over the back I believe As I can see over that way, the earth has been burnt. So that bushfire that's gone through here, because everything's so green, it must have been super hot and super windy.
Minehead Beach. Get a load of that. So as you can see, the campsite's at the bottom of the hill there. It's in between me up there and getting to camp down there. Must be a bloody steep hill. <laughs> oh, this should be fun.